All right, the blue one's mine and the red one is my wife's. Here's the cool thing I'm gonna show you. This is my wad of keys. This is her wad of keys. Now I'm just gonna press the button on mine. Hey, it did worked on both vehicles. So does hers. It's pretty cool. So this is great because, um, you know, you don't want to carry more than one fob and if you have the same um, type of vehicle, um, you can program the remote. If you go to filar.com, I'll have a more complete list of the years and makes and models that you can do this. But essentially, um, the manufacturer, GM in this case, they just have a big, uh, you know, big box of remotes. They'll go grab two, walk over to your truck and program these in. And you can do it at home. I'll show you how. So what we're going to do, is we'll insert a key. I'm going to hold down the lock button, the unlock button, sorry, and then cycle the ignition off, on and off, twice. So now it's ready. I'm going to hold the lock and unlock buttons on my controller for 15 seconds, and it should lock and unlock if it's successful. It's ready for the next one. Hold it for 15 seconds and basically what this does is it wipes the memory and then reprograms, uh, it binds itself to these remotes. So you have to have all the remotes handy. So where it's done and then you just turn the ignition on and it uh, gets out of program mode. I have the right key here. And that is it. And just to test. Voila.